It takes two entire days for your body to burn fat, but it's gonna take you just five minutes to create a diet plan just for yourself. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. We can literally watch all the YouTubers and the nutritionalists that we want, but the sad reality is that a diet plan that works for them may not necessarily work for you. Now, a study done by the American Society for Nutrition just last year tracked about 1,100 people, couple from the USA and couple from the UK for about two weeks or so, which included 240 pairs of twins. Now, they monitored participants' blood sugar, fats, and insulin levels after they ate meals, which included things like muffins and glucose drinks, as well as track their sleep and exercise. Interestingly enough, it was observed that a food that spiked someone's blood sugar level didn't necessarily have the same effect on another individual, even if they were twins. Now, these results suggest that nutrition facts alone cannot be used to determine how a specific food would affect health and weight of a certain individual. Now, this is exactly why a custom diet plan is important for everyone, whether you're trying to lose some weight, whether you're trying to bulk, or just trying to lead a healthy lifestyle. The method that I'm gonna tell you in this video is by no means the only way to set up your calories. There are a ton of different ways to do it, but this is something that I personally use and recommend and it works perfectly for both males as well as females. Every person has something called maintenance calories. This is basically your body's way of a zero balance. It's pretty simple. If you eat over your maintenance calories, you're gonna end up gaining weight. And if you eat under your maintenance calories, you're gonna end up losing weight. The question is, how do you find your maintenance calories? Maintenance calories depends on something called basal metabolic rate. This is basically the energy that your body needs to function at a bare minimum. In order to calculate your maintenance calories, you need to understand four things about your body. Number one is basically the amount of energy that your body needs if you were to say just lie in the bed all day and do absolutely nothing. This would be the energy that your body needs to function without you getting up, going to work, exercising, just nothing at all. Bare minimum. This is going to be roughly 10 to 11 X. I'll explain what X is here in just a minute. The next thing is the amount of energy your body needs to execute any sort of activity. Say you were to get up and go to work, say you want to get up and take a shower. Basic day-to-day -day activities also accounts for some, some, some amount of energy, right? Let's put this at 3 to 4 X. Your body basically needs some amount of energy internally to digest the food that you eat. We're gonna count this as 1x. Now, the last one is the amount of energy your internal organs need, like your heart, your liver, your brain, to actually function and keep you going every day. This is the non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This basically roughly accounts for not much, so we're just gonna have this as a factor, but not put any multiplication factor next to it. So now, if you have these four things and you add them all up, this accounts to roughly 14 to 16 X. This number needs to be multiplied by your body weight in pounds. So let's take me for example. I am currently 125 pounds, so my maintenance calories would be 125 times 14, which is 1750, and 125 times 16, which is 2000. So what this means is that 1750 and 2000 calories a day is my maintenance calorie range. And if I were to eat this, my weight would remain the same. Now, if you're looking to lose weight, it's a good idea to eat 500 below your maintenance calories. And if you're looking to gain weight, eat 500 above your maintenance calories. An important thing to note here is that maintenance calories will always be a range and will always be an estimate. That's because every day your body needs different amounts of energy to function. Say one day you're just lying in bed and one day is more busier than the other. So your body internally may need different amounts of energy per day, which is why this maintenance calorie can never be a fixed number and will always be one range. Now with this range, you're not supposed to go and spend all of your calories on things like pizzas and burgers and fries. No, that's still not healthy. You need to divide these calories, your maintenance calories, into your macronutrients, which are your proteins, carbs, and fats. Now, the general rule of thumb is that you spend your largest amount of calories on carbs, the least amount of calories on fats, 
and you're left with a good amount of calories to spend on proteins. I personally like to spread my calories out with a 40% carb, 35% proteins, and 25% fat ratio. This method by no means follows one particular diet style. If you were supposed to do a keto diet or you wanted to carb cycle every week, you could kind of play around with these macronutrients and kind of juggle the amount of protein, fats, and carbs that you take in daily to satisfy the type of diet that you want to follow. The important thing here is that your overall calories every day would remain the same. To make things easier for you guys, I created an Excel spreadsheet which you can download in the description below. All you're gonna do here is put in your weight in pounds in the green tab and it's gonna give you your maintenance calories range and your macros which are your protein, fats, and carbs. Now I do want to point out here that this protein, fats, and carbs ratio that I used in this spreadsheet is what I personally recommend and what has worked for me best. Now another thing is that remembering how much calories you're eating in every meal every day can be kind of like a tough task to remember. I know that this was really hard for me in particular, so something that helped me a lot was tracking this using an app. I use an app called MyFitnessPal. It allows you to basically set your daily calories as well as your carbs, protein, and fats ratio so that you can easily track them and make sure that you hit your goal every single day. It's basically as easy as that. I hope you guys found this video useful and if you did, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any notifications. But until then, share this video around and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.